A long time ago, I let go of the need to make a good first impression. I mean, for example, with these videos, right? This may be the first video you ever see from me and you may not like it. And that's okay, that's okay with me because if I keep making videos, some of them are bound to be pretty good and you'll probably hear about me again from a friend who shares it with you or you'll see it come up in a suggested video in YouTube or Facebook or, or somewhere else or you'll, find, you'll hear about me somewhere else. So that's really the key to being able to not only survive as somebody who shares a message but thrive because if you are worried about the first impression you're not going to produce enough content or to reach out enough to be able to improve to be able to keep making impressions until you get better and better and better so let go of the need to make a good first impression and instead be thinking about the next tenth impression or 20 impressions from now. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm not thinking, gosh, this is the one video I gotta impress everybody. No, I just think this is another video where maybe I'll improve on one little thing I did from the previous video. Just one little tiny thing that's so easy to improve. I'll improve on that. And then the next video, I'll improve a little bit more. And that's how I keep making impressions that get hopefully a little bit better over time. Now, it's not always going to be like this, always better, but it'll be jagged. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll get worse, sometimes I'll get better. But over time, if I keep doing this, it'll eventually get better and better and better if I keep looking back and seeing what's one thing I can improve. So let me give you another example. Right now, I'm finally writing my first book. Now, this is eight years into my business. Uh, where you know I serve people who have a message. A lot of my clients are are authors, and uh, it's like, wow, George, you haven't written a book yet. It's the first first book you're gonna write. So why is it that I'm able to do this now, versus versus earlier? Well, it's because I'm finally applying the idea of not having to make a good first impression with my first book. I'm no longer needing to write an amazing bestseller for my first book, and instead, I'm just going to write the book as a first impression, but I'm thinking already, like I said, of the 10th impression going forward. So I'm already thinking, oh, my 10th book, what that's gonna be like. But I'm not gonna be able to get to the 10th book until I write my first book and then see what the reviews are, good or bad. I'll just make improvements upon the, you know, the, the books based on the reviews and I'll write the second one and the third one and the fourth one, etc. right? I let go of the need to make a good first impression because if I know that if I produce, if I keep producing and looking to see how I can make one little improvement from the last production, I will get better and better over time. And whether or not you like me the first time, you're going to hear from me. You're gonna hear about me again if I keep producing because some of that is inevitably, inevitably going to be pretty good and you'll hear about that. So do the same thing with your audience, whether or not you're intimidated about making videos or writing articles or writing books or, or even reaching out to potential joint venture partners. There are almost unlimited numbers of people you could reach out to to help promote your business. I mean, of course, there's a limited number, but virtually speaking, you probably have, who knows, a thousand potential partners. Just keep reaching out and every time you reach out, see if there's one little thing you can do to improve on the last outreach. And if you keep doing this, you'll keep making better and better impressions over time. And, you can, and then the previous people will probably hear about you because you will make better and better impressions over time. I hope this is helpful. I'm George Cal, always open to your comments and your questions. And until the next video, I wish you courage in making the next impression, knowing that you have many, many more to go and you'll keep getting better over time. Be well.